I say to people that we can train three things. We can train our craft, we can train our body, and we can train our mind. I think we're shaped by the experiences that we have in life, and that shapes everything that we do. And so when you've been through the experiences you've been through with people, whether it's high altitude free falling, jumping out at night or on operations somewhere, that support with each other is the thing that shapes you as a person, expands your limits of possibility and potential. And I think that's gone on in other areas of my life to really, so that you can draw on those experiences, use them to, to be most effective in what you do. What I'm really trying to do is, is look at the potential of people, people within the team, and draw upon their experiences, their insight, their knowledge. And they may see something from a different angle than, than I would see, a different perception. And so being able to draw upon that, ultimately, yes, as a leader, you have to make a decision. But to be able to draw upon the collective rather than individual and being fixed on that is, is, is crucial. So for me, it was, it, it was founded in sport originally. Um, and early days of playing football and, and again I would see even in those, those early days as a youngster seeing how much the mental game would affect my performance. I could either be the best player on the pitch or, or not performing at all and then that led into, into martial arts and boxing. I think it's huge. Um, the, and, I, and I think it's a missing component. I, I like to say I say to people that we can train three things. We can train our craft, we can train our body, and we can train our mind. Um, and the mental aspect of, of performance, people often focus on the technical, the tactical, even the physical. But the mental component for me underpins all of that and is the access point to that. Clarity is inherently linked to psychological well-being. And again, if people are in space of psychological well-being, happy people are going to do good work in simple terms. And so building people's confidence, again, is giving them the trust to be able to uh, take on incremental challenges, which are not beyond their skill set, but give them enough opportunity to, to push their boundaries. And as they start to push boundaries, then they start to realise their own potential. I think ultimately, when we talk about uh, confidence and ability to perform, for me, it's, it's being able to, to positively talk to ourselves in a way that's grounded in reality. And so we've had these experiences, we've pushed the boundaries, and we're able to draw upon these experiences and talk to ourselves, our inner coach here, um, to really help ourselves to perform. And so that's being able to trust ourselves to adapt in the moment. And so at those moments where we're trying to seek certainty, when we're trying to be safe, then can we trust ourselves to adapt? And that's our ability to, to move away from those self-doubts.